Hi, I'm Sam Stigler and welcome to another Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Charlie. She asks, what's new with iOS 9.3? I'm glad you asked. iOS 9.3 is shaping up to be one of the biggest minor iOS releases in recent history. It has so many cool new features. One of those is Night Shift. It will automatically reduce the amount of blue light on your iOS device's screen near bedtime because studies have shown that exposure to blue light near bedtime makes it harder to fall asleep. Do you store a lot of important information in your Notes app? 9.3 will introduce fingerprint security with Touch ID for your notes. There are minor improvements to CarPlay in both the news and health apps too, but the ones I'm most excited about are aimed at the education market. As someone with first-hand experience of how arduous a process it is to administer student laptops in a K-12 environment, Apple's announcements about the education improvements in 9.3 are music to my ears. Probably the most game-changing education feature is the ability for multiple students to share the same iPad with each student having their own account. This is the first time ever that Apple has supported having multiple users. That is, more than one segregated set of files on the same iOS device. This feature will be great for schools and districts that might not have the means to invest in a one-to-one -one iPad program for all of their students. And for those schools that only wish to make the investment for the older students, Apple is introducing an easy password option, essentially a four digit pin number to make it easier for younger students to log into the iPads. Teachers can configure iPads to each show the photos of the students assigned to them, which will help teachers regain at least five or 10 minutes a day of lost class time. The new classroom app is like remote desktop, but for iOS. It will allow teachers to see what's on students' iPad screens, control all the iPads at once, for example, to have them all go to the same library website, and even AirPlay student work from a selected iPad to an Apple TV. There's also a really cool feature called Managed Apple ID that lets IT administrators set up private within school Apple IDs just for students to back up their documents to iCloud or get a book from iBooks or access a course on iTunes U. We're really excited about the new features in 9.3 and you can read more about them at apple.com. That's all for this episode. As always, tweet your questions to hashtag askadev or just leave them in the comments.